Apologize to Ariana was trending just over a week ago following the release of Yes And, which people think is a response to the media and the public criticizing her for being a homewrecker. And funnily enough, Page Six has decided to change their tune also after perpetuating the same narrative of Ariana Grande being a homewrecker. Ooh, Page Six is backtracking on those Ariana Grande homewrecker allegations. If you weren't aware, it was primarily Page Six and TMZ that led what ended up becoming a smear campaign against Ariana. And now six months later, they're changing their tune. In an article that also sort of defames her yet again, at least in the title. An article centered around the negative feedback following the release of her new song, Yes And, as you can read here. But this is where things get interesting. Regardless of what people had to say, there is no hard evidence that Grande did anything to separate Slater from his estranged wife. Is Ariana Grande actually a homewrecker or was this all Ethan Slater's fault? Page Six was actually one of the very first outlets to report on Lily J, Ethan Slater's ex-wife, with close sources claiming that in fact, Ethan and Lily were high school sweethearts. Ethan Slater's wife was a reportedly blindsided by the news about Ethan and Ariana Grande. According to page six, Ethan's wife Lily was completely blindsided by the relationship. They go, it's horrible. They were high school sweethearts. They have a baby. She's a wreck. Ethan and his wife were married in 2018 and recently celebrated their 10 year anniversary. Sources are saying that Ariana was the reason that they suddenly broke up when nothing appeared to be wrong between them. They have a child together and that they were even still all lovey-dovey just less than two months before news broke that Ariana and Ethan were allegedly dating. Published on July 27, 2023, page six says that they spoke with Lily. Lily mentions how her family is just collateral damage when the news broke of Ethan dating Ariana Grande. Ariana is the story really, not a girl's girl. An unnamed source in this article also goes on to claim she's rightfully upset because her marriage fell apart, but Ariana and Ethan didn't do anything wrong. Apparently too, this source goes on to add that Ethan had separated from Lily for two months before romancing Ariana. After nearly four years of marriage, on the 28th of July, Ethan filed for divorce. On the 20th, it came out that in fact Ariana Grande was hanging out with Lily, Ethan, and their newborn baby, which she also reportedly held. In the article, Lily says that she is focused on rebuilding a life for her son. This is what I'm trying to do, and this is our only focus. This is all really confusing, isn't it? From reports of Ethan and Lily both being lovey dovey, only just two months before news broke that Ethan. Ethan was allegedly dating Ariana to reports of Lily and Ethan being separated when Ethan started dating Ariana. In December of 2022, Ariana begins filming of the Wicked movie. January 2023, TMZ reports that Ariana broke up with Dalton Gomez, her then husband, only just a little bit after she went to England to start filming the Wicked movie. March 2023, Ethan and Ariana were pictured together in a group photo. May 2023. Both Ethan and Ariana shared Instagram posts of their now ex-partners. Ethan doing a Mother's Day post which Ariana liked and Ariana celebrating her and Dalton's second wedding anniversary. July 17 is when news breaks of Ariana Grande and Dalton Gomez heading for divorce. TMZ reveals the very next day that in fact Ari and Dalton had been separated for several months, according to a close anonymous source. That is when only just two days later, two days later, <laughs> News breaks once again that Ariana and Ethan begin dating. Later in July, Ethan files for divorce. And in September, Ariana and Dalton follow suit. Come to present day and they are spotted out together all the time. And Ariana Grande says, why do you care so much whose pineapple I ride? Followed by page six stating, regardless of what people had to say, there is no hard evidence that Ariana 
Ariana did anything to separate Ethan from his estranged wife. Apologize to Ariana is now trending on Twitter because page six, which was the origin of all of the rumors regarding Ariana Grande and Ethan Slater's relationship over the summer, put out a statement saying there is no hard evidence that Grande did anything to separate Slater from him from his estranged wife which is not what they were saying over the summer about the relationship. In my opinion, I think that page six was quickly trying to do some like PR damage control, especially because Ariana has a lot to say in yes and. It's just weird considering the fact that page six was platforming Lily's statements when Lily was calling Ariana not a girl's girl. And I've been seeing so many tweets being like, yes, I would leave Lily for Ariana. Ariana. Who says not a girl's girl outside of social media? Dare I say, if you are a woman who has been left by her partner of 10 years and you have a child that is not even a year old, I will fight for every right and every wrong. <laughs> I don't care how you behave. And the statements that Lily gave to certain news publications would lead people to believe that there is something more that is going on here. However, attending to her newborn baby is a lot more important than ragging on Ariana because whether it was infidelity or not, there is a child involved in this situation. That is the most heartbreaking part, is hearing that Ariana did hold this woman's baby and still went for her man. People should be upset at this man as well for potentially destroying his family for a girl that he met on set of a movie because it's 50-50 here. You can't put all the blame on Ariana when Ethan is his own human being who clearly chose something else over his family. And this is just my opinion, okay? My speculation, if I must. The timing of this all is just seriously so strange because whilst page six wants to declare that there is no hard evidence out there and technically I mean <laughs> uh, it still doesn't make sense that in May of 2023 Ethan Slater did that whole Mother's Day post only just less than two months later to divorce his wife as well as start dating someone new pretty much instantly. Like, I'm not judging people for moving on too fast. I mean, everyone's their own person, but it can make that wound cut that much deeper when the woman who met you, met your baby, held your baby, took your man. So with all of that being said, everybody, thank you so much for your time today. Let me know what you think down in the comments section below. Thank you so much for your stay at Yappersville today. I hope to see you again soon. Take care of yourself and most of all, love your fucking selves.